and getting a vaccine appointment that can be pretty stressful, especially when you go online. And that's what people are telling us after the 55 and older group became eligible to sign up for the shot today in Arizona. Spencer experienced some of that. Uh, you were helping some family members of your own get their appointments today. Yeah, so I know exactly what it's like, Yetta, and there were nine screens that you have to go through. You can save all your information in the first six, even before the, uh, the deadline, or excuse me, the opening at noon today. But even after that point, there is quite a lot of clicking involved, and there are advocates who worry that that is going to be a barrier for the people who need the vaccine the most to actually get it. Vaccine eligibility expanded once again in Arizona. Now anyone 55 and older can sign up for the shot. Invariably, by the time you get there, it's gone. But 63-year-old Michael Wayner didn't get an appointment Tuesday, and it wasn't for a lack of trying. To manage to find those little dots and click every single one perfectly, and then get down to the bottom, scroll on over and do this as fast as you can, it's just not working. He tried for more than an hour, but with no luck. He says there are far too many clicks and too many pages for everyone to be able to snag a slot. Now, I'm not the world's fastest on the computer. I've got a little bit of arthritis problems, but if somebody was really disabled, I don't think they'd have a chance in the world of managing to get through to this. The Arizona Center for Disability Law shares those concerns. The pandemic is especially trying for those with disabilities. Since last year, we've seen an uptick in calls and emails and people reaching out through our website and our intake form. Natalie Luna Rose says many of those people can't get to the vaccination sites or they can't sign up for an appointment to begin with. She's urging the state not to forget those with disabilities who still are not eligible to sign up unless they meet one of the other priority requirements. This community tends to get overlooked in general, and we really want to make sure that they're a priority when it comes to getting the vaccine. Now, several disability advocacy groups are coming together on Thursday. They're going to have a press conference with those same pleas for the governor and the state. As for the appointments today that opened up, well, it was only about two hours later when DHS tweeted that they'd all been booked up. Reporting live tonight, I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.